So I'm going to make um, a car door for this Austin 7. This is the driver side, which is already, uh, it's already almost completely made. Um, you can see that it's got a, there you can see on the camera there, it's got a twist going all the way down, which is what makes it very, very, what makes it much more complicated to make because it's not a flat section. Um, it's bolted together and um, as you can see, it's done in such a way, these are butt jointed, in such a way that the bits can be twisted and then finally bolted and then doweled in position. This is bolted, but it's not yet doweled. It's so, that, um, so I'm just doing the final adjustment. On. Okay, so stage one was to cut a aluminium door skin. And then after that, this was done basically just a hardboard template on the car um, and then just transmitted onto the, onto the, onto the aluminium and jigsawed out, very, very simple. I had to make about three templates before I was happy with the shape. This shape here had to follow the back of the car around and then up to the scuttle there. Then I just drawn a line around there. And then from this line, I've, for, to make the door frame, um, I've made up a template um, which goes around like this. So that's the um, top, top rail, bottom rail. These are the verticals. there. As you can see there are the four components which are just basically jigsawed out of the ash. Um, now I've just done butt joints and this is to allow the rails and the verticals just to just to rotate in order for me to twist the components into the right shape of the door. So what I'm actually going to do is once the door's bolted to the actual body I'm going to actually twist all the bits so the actual um, so, the, so the actual Body follows the contours of the of the door follows the contours of the frame, and then I'll just carve the door into shape after that. This is the door in a sort of rare. Uh, this is um, after the template that I showed you. This is basically the the, the bits cut out, and um, just these are just loosely nailed and uh, with light screws, just so that it can be um, so it can be shaped and put into position. And what I'm going to do is fit this to the car next, put the hinges in, which is already let in, and then I'm going to loosen the fixings and then twist the whole door into shape and then what I'll do is mark it out um, from the door aperture and actually shape it with a hand plane into the right shape. So I've mounted this rough door um, and you can see that it's about 12-15 uh, millimetres at oversize on the width. As you follow it around you can see it's fine at the bottom and then as we come up to the top you can see that obviously the twist on the door is different from the twist on the body. So what we're going to have to do is loosen the fixings and just twist the door into shape. And the extra thickness I've got on the timber is going to give me enough room, enough sort of extra material to actually carve the pieces of the door into the correct shape to match the body. So here I've got the door very, very roughly fitted, the, the raw door frame. And as you can see from here, the, the door pieces are actually slightly twisted um, to allow the door to shape to the body, to the, um, to the sloping shape of the body. So the door's very much oversized. Uh, if you look here, you can see that it overshoots the body. This is going to allow me just to mark it out and trim it in to exactly the right size so that it's got all the curves and the um, contours of the body. There's no actual compound curves in this, but there is a there is a sort of, the body sort of comes along here and there is a sort of fold. So there is a, there is like a sort of fold in the door, but no contour, it's, it's quite a simple, it's a simple door shape, although there is a twist along the whole length of the door. So now that with the, with the oversized thickness of the frame, I can now just mark it out with a pencil and then, um, then I can actually plane the door into shape and then take it down to the thickness. The door frame at the moment I think is about uh, 55, 60 mil thick and I need to get it down to about 35 mil which is the final thickness of the rail. And this, the top of the door just follows this shape around over the top of the door, comes all the way over and then eventually meets this and is the same thickness, just follows this curve around and obviously that, that gap's got to be parallel. That gap's got to be parallel there, but it just follows that round. That becomes one line over the door stop, all the way around, and then up here. Just to make sure that the door holds its orientation, because all, all the bits are twisted, obviously. Now, so I just want to bash the pins in just to make sure that the door kind of keeps its shape while I transport it to the workshop. So the door's all in fixed in position now. I'm just going to do my pencil line.
just going around the just going around the inside as well now. Just gonna mark the outside top top uh, shape of the door. I'm just gonna use tape. I don't know if this is a particularly uh, traditional method of doing it, but. Yeah, I'm just cutting the um, post down to uh, thickness. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this uh, on the saw rather than the plane. Now I've just cut the um, the back uh, uh, vertical down to thickness. You can see so it's a lot. You can see how we can see on the camera. There. It's a lot thinner than the rest of the door. And then on the top of the door frame, from from when I had it on the car, I've marked out the um, the shape to carve the the, the, the rails to. I see on the front edge there as well the pencil marks. I don't know how clearly that's going to show. So what now? Now I'm going to do with the hand planer is I'm just going to plane it into shape. Now what you can see here is I've actually left a, quite a large gap, it's around 10 millimetres all the way around the door. And this is to allow for the body twist. Um, as, as the car, the Austin 7 chassis is very, very flexible. And it's just to allow the fact that the, the door can, uh, the car can twist and the body can twist and the, bo the uh, door won't fail the aperture. The actual skin overshoots the door frame all the way around and actually, actually goes over and actually overlaps the body here. And um, this this allows um, that's the actual seal. What I'm doing now is just loosening the bolts because um, the door is just needs a little bit of twisting in position. So these the fact it's bolted together allows me just to um, just to loosen it off, and then I can actually twist it. So um, I'm just going to twist that slightly more that way, and so that it lines up perfectly with the body. After this positioning, I'm going to do one final plane just to get the shape perfect, and then after that, then I'll um, I'll down and glue the door into position, and that will be that will be final. That will be the door then, the shape it's going to be. So it's just a little bit of adjustment. It's about three, three or four minutes out. So um, just one one more um, bolt together, and then it's uh, back to the wood workshop where I'm going to. Um, where I'm actually just finally put it in position. And then what I'll probably do, let's just twist it again, yeah. What I'll probably do is put the skin on once, once the actual frame is bolted to the car. Now I've finally got the door in the correct orientation. It's gonna knock a couple of pins in, but until I put the down to glue it just to hold it. Very lightly, just gonna put a few pins in just to hold it in the correct orientation. So this is a door back on the car, finally shot in and all planed in. Um, all that remains now is to, to hammer the dowels in, which I'll do back in the workshop. And as you can see, there is a door shuts now, all just lines up perfectly. So the um, 
So the door skin which overshoots the skin and actually sort of overlaps the door aperture should line up perfectly now and, and sort of touch the body all the way around as it closes. This is the driver's uh, side door, all in with the um, skin on and with the catches. And this is the fin finished result once everything's done.